For a few seconds after they were set free last week, the four young sea lions paused, almost as if they were reluctant to say goodbye. Not long ago, they all looked a lot more like this, sick, emaciated, and near death. But now they were back, fat, happy, and healthy enough to scamper down to the water's edge and beyond. It was just another happy ending, thanks to a place that makes these kind of things happen all the time. This is the Pacific Marine Mammal Center in Laguna Beach, California. Northern elephant seals. Keith Matassa runs a rescue station that is often the last best hope for animals in distress. What happens when they come here? When they come here, they are basically on their last legs. They've had a rough life, so what we have to do is bring them in, start them over again, and give them a second chance on life. That means round-the-clock care, heated floors for fragile animals like this little pup, and plenty of fish even for youngsters still struggling to eat solid food. Oh, there she is. There she is. There she is. The center is also a wildly popular summer day camp for young humans. <laughs> for one glorious week, campers ages 8 to 12 learn the finer points of marine mammal care, like cleaning animals after an oil slick or making a fish frappe. So today, we're going to be learning how to make fish smoothies. It's a tasty mix of herring and caro corn syrup. Pureed in a blender before it's tube fed to the youngest, weakest patients. For 12-year-old Kylie Schaefer, this was the fun part. What was it like when you first came here, that smell? Um, it was really gross and disgusting, but I've gotten used to it. You're pump it in at a nice, so even pace. Measure. Notice that they're only working on stuffed toys here. The first rule of SEAL camp is you don't touch the animals at SEAL camp. Education director Kirsten Donald. They're definitely not hands-on with the animals because we need to keep those animals wild so they can go back out in the ocean without a dependency on human beings. Also, the animals might nip you. Yes. Turns out baby sea lions are a little like baby rattlesnakes. They are kind of vicious, but not like, you know, they could bite. I like all five of my fingers. You like all five of your fingers? I like all ten. <laughs> so the kids simulate feeding and cleaning and capturing stranded animals, just in case they ever have to do it for real. And they may get their chance. In the first five months of 2005, there were fewer than 300 sea lion strandings on the shores of California. In the first five months of this year, there were more than 3,000. And experts say we ain't seen nothing yet. Scientists believe unusually warm water in the Pacific, brought on by a weather pattern called El Nino, is driving away the fish sea lions usually eat. So the young pups, who can't hunt for themselves, are often left to starve and the forecast is pretty grim. Next year is looking worse? Yes, because we're gonna have El Nino that's gonna be even stronger next year, um, and they're already forecasting that this is gonna happen again next year. Are you guys overtaxed at this point? Um, we're not overtaxed, our resources are being stretched. We can release some animals and make some more room, but we have been at capacity of 125 animals now for at least the last two to two and a half months. <laughs> It hasn't always been quite this busy. The center was founded in 1971 by two Laguna Beach lifeguards and a veterinarian as a place to take sick animals that would occasionally wash up on the beach. It was popular with the local kids then and now. This is one of the, my favorite camps that I've ever done. I, I just think it's fun to get messy. The chance to get messy runs about $325 per kid a week. Not exactly cheap, but Keith Matassa says this is one summer dream you can't put a price tag on. The seals are really cute. I mean, who doesn't want to be here looking at the animals? And there is no feeling better than watching rehab sea lions run down the beach into the ocean and disappear again. So for a kid to experience that, it's pretty amazing. I wish I could have done it when I was a kid. For campers, the work with sea lions is mostly pretend. But the thrill of watching them go home is about as real as it gets.